home and studio of artist Jane Feigenson, and she's going to give us a tour of her work. So Jane, this is a work in progress, yes? And so can you tell us a little bit about the process? Well, I work on wood, which mm -hmm. gives me the opportunity to beat it up a little bit and be more physical with my work. Um, I definitely love uh, layers and adding on and taking off maybe a little bit of Hans Hoffman influence. <laughs> on this particular piece, I've been playing around with cold wax, which adds another dimension to it. Um, what I do is then take a blowtorch and play around with the drips. If you look closely, you'll see some of mm -hmm. some of the drips here, and then I might go back in and take um, sandpaper and then break it down a little bit, and um, you can see some of that here. It just adds a little bit more dimension. Mm. So what about this piece? Well, this is an, a new piece, hot mm -hmm. off the press, <laughs> and I've been doing a lot of figurative work, mm -hmm. which I find beautiful. Um, this is the uh, back part of a woman, which I find her very graceful and demure, mm -hmm. um, a bit mysterious as well. And here I have an area that the eye can rest. Um, there's a lot going on, and yet it's very subtle. Um, I do a lot with this, these drips, which are galkid, a type of varnish, oh. um, which some people say that's rather brave to do, but again, I like to push the envelope a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, but the overall, um, I guess, feeling of it for me is sort of that mystery. Uh, you don't know really what's going on here or mm -hmm. what's, what's in her head. And the, and the primary medium is oil? This is oil on wood. On wood. So Jane, we've brought in this piece so that you can talk about how it reflects your artist statement. Well, a lot of my work does incorporate a lot of faceless people. Mm -hmm. And um, I think a lot of times, personally, I'd rather be behind the scenes and a bit faceless myself. Mm -hmm. I do love beauty and style and all of that, but I think sometimes there's a sense of just wanting to hide. And I think most people at one time or other tend to feel that way as well. Absolutely, absolutely. So Jane, I noticed that there's a lot of texture in this piece. Can you tell us a little bit about the process that's behind all this texturing? Well, again, all of it is on wood, mm -hmm. and um, a lot of the texture you see is burlap, which was on, and then I pulled it off, which left some beautiful, beautiful marks. Mm -hmm. um, you can kind of see some of that in and around here. Um, if you look closely, there's also sort of this other hidden something going on there that I'll leave that up to you. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> so tell me, um, this is another uh, one of your uh, hit and run victims, I think, yeah? <laughs> exactly. This is Cha Cha Girl, and these are found objects found in a local dump. Um, but I just think she's beautiful and graceful. And um, I did even add a little biker chain for a necklace, uh, just to add a little grace to her. But um, she just makes me smile. You know what, what she reminds me of? She reminds me of the famous Marilyn pose when yes. she's on the subway. It yes. really yes. does. Yes. So I've asked Jane to show us a piece that sort of gives us a trajectory of where she's going. And um, she's chosen this piece, and why this piece? Well, there's a lot going on here. One is my um, love for graffiti art. I just right. love the idea that the world is your canvas, mm -hmm. um, and that anyone can have a voice and express what they want. Um, I also have, again, the figure going on here that's kind of hunched over and, and clutching in. Um, with the words that say expect nothing and I think in my life I tried to live by 
expect nothing and then I'm happy. Mm -hmm. And um, some people might not agree with it that you mm -hmm. should expect, but I think it's an easier way to live. Jane Feigenson, artist. Um, and yeah, we look forward to seeing where your art takes you next. Thank you. It's been great. Oh, our pleasure. Thank you.